So I'm going to show you how to make a stripy cake with two different colours of buttercream, um, a white and a turquoise colour. So you just need to prepare a, one quantity, well actually two or three quantities of frosting. So I'd say you probably want to use a whole bag of icing sugar, one kilogram, a uh, thousand grams that's one kilogram and um, you want to use about 500 grams of butter um, maybe 1200 grams of icing sugar and then split them in two so you have one that's plain white and one a color of your choice so just mix in um, whatever color you want um, pop them into icing bags disposable ones um, you can see in my other videos how to actually put the icing in the icing bag if you need to know but for those of you that know just pop them in so you want two round nozzles um, for both of these so they're there you need a whatever cake you want to frost this is a six inch round cake um, and I've just put buttercream in the middle of two of the layers along with jam um, I've got a video on my YouTube channel, Bessie's Bakery, if you need to know how to crumb coat a cake, there's step-by-step -step guides on there. Um, so you get your crumb coated cake, you pop it in the fridge for about half an hour, and then you're ready to go. So all you need is your cake, your two different coloured icings, and then also a bench scraper. Um, you, just, you can buy this on Amazon, I got this on Amazon for £10. It just gives you nice smooth edge. So what you want to do is just start on the top, um, start in the middle, gentle pressure and then just go round in a circle to cover the whole top of the cake. Just gently put your bench scraper level with the cake and just turn it round in a circle so you can get a nice smooth top to your cake. Okay so now what you're going to do is you're going to get your colour and you're going to start Place it onto the cake and just squeeze and gently turn the cake around. Don't worry too much about it being in a straight line. So just do that until you get back round to the beginning. And then when you get round to the beginning, you can then put a white stripe round. And so on. So just keep doing that basically until you get to the bottom of the cake. So just keep it going. Just keep going round. Do it nice and thick until you've covered the whole cake. And don't worry about it being too neat to start with. make sure that there's no gaps in the frosting. So you want to get yourself a bowl just to put the excess in from your um, scraper. So just start at the side, put it in and just gently turn And then each time you scrape, you need to clean. You need to clean the um, clean the leveler because you don't want to put the different colours on the different layers on the cake. So just give it a wipe each time. Okay, so you just keep going round until you're happy with the look of the cake. Until it's 
relatively smooth. Okay, we've got a nice, simple, stripy cake. So, with buttercream. So what I'm gonna do is pop that in the freezer and then I'm gonna show you how to do a drip cake. So how to make some chocolate ganache and make a drip effect on the top of the cake. So I've made a really simple um, ganache here. You can see that. To give the drip effect on the cake. It's really easy to do. You basically get the same quantity of double cream, the same quantity of chocolate. I use white chocolate. So I used 100 grams of white chocolate, just cheap white chocolate, 100 grams of double cream, and then I put a tiny bit of um, peach food colouring in, um, one of the Pro Gel colours from Hobbycraft. All you do is you break up the chocolate, cut it into pieces, put it in a bowl, ready to pour the cream onto, put the cream in a saucepan um, and bring it to the boil. Literally, as soon as it starts to bubble, that is it done. You want to take it off the heat and pour it straight into the bowl because if you leave it any longer, you're going to get a sort of lumpy ganache. Um, so you pour it onto the chocolate and then you just keep stirring um, and it all melts in eventually. It might seem like it's not going to, but it does. Um, and then what you do is you put this to one side and you let it, you leave it for about an hour because as it cools, it gets a bit thicker. So it's easier to get a nice drip effect um, from that rather than it being too runny. So your cake's in the freezer. So you should get your cake out of the freezer. You need to put your ganache into one of these little plastic um, squirty things. I just got them on um, Amazon. So it's just a little plastic bottle with a lid um, it just makes it just means that you can you can put the ganache more precisely on the cake okay, so you've got your cat your nice stripy cake and you've got your ganache in your little squirty thing so just start to put it on the cake um, and you can get a knife to kind of spread it around Squirting it all, go in, spread it on, and it will start to drip down the sides. So just start to put it down the sides so it just sort of drips down. And then you can make it look neater. So you can kind of go around and just smooth it with your fingers. So 
So now your drip cake is ready for some more decoration. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna use some of the blue frosting from earlier and do little um, swirls all the way round. And then I'm gonna put, I've bought some, I should have made these but I didn't. I bought some macaroons and some mini eggs to put in them as well. So just get your frosting. So just go round and do some little swirls like this. So then to make it look even more special, I should have made these macaroons, but hey ho. We're gonna put these on top. Some mini eggs, so I'm just gonna dot these all over the cake. Now I'm gonna eat one. Mm -hmm. And that is how to make your gorgeous drip cake. Yummy. That was my video of how to make a drip cake, a stripy buttercream drip cake. I hope you liked it. And next week I'm gonna be teaching you how to make a little Dumbo the Elephant figurine.